transposition is the movement of genetic elements called transposons between plasmids and genomes. Shown here is the mechanism of replicative transposition by the E. coli TN3 transposon. A copy of TN3 will be generated in the target plasmid. The transposon is flanked by inverted repeat sequences and consists of several genes. One of these genes encodes the transposase enzyme. In the target plasmid, transposase acts at the region of insertion. The target plasmid is cleaved by transposase to yield staggered ends nine nucleotides apart. Transposase also cleaves the plasmid containing the transposon at the ends of the transposable element. These ends are joined with the ends of the target plasmid. The single-stranded regions of the DNA are replicated. The resulting plasmid is called a cointegrate. It contains the original transposon and a new copy. The cointegrate is resolved into the original plasmid and the target plasmid by an enzyme called resolvase. The transposon contains a sequence called the internal resolution site, or IRS, which is necessary for resolution. Resolvase mediates a recombination event at the IRS. This yields the original donor plasmid and the target plasmid with a copy of the transposon. In an IRS deletion mutant, the site of resolution is absent. Without its recognition site, Resolvase cannot initiate resolution. The end result is a buildup of cointegrate intermediates in the bacterial cell. A mutant transposase enzyme will not be able to initiate transposition. This results in each plasmid replicating in the bacterial cell without any transposon movement to the target plasmid.